Hey guys, and welcome to Simply Peace. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Decline Heli 20 rucksack. So let's take a closer look now, shall we? Obviously, what you'll notice there's lots of straps, lots of pockets, lots of bits and bobs with this rucksack, which is, well, to be fair, a great, great, you know, great features to have. Um, obviously, it's 20 litre capacity, and that's obviously including the main section as well as all the various pockets. Anyway, let's go through the actual uh, bag itself and its features. You've obviously got a strap system on the bottom there, so that's ideal for, you know, attaching your, you know, your snowboard or your skis to the bottom there. You can adjust it accordingly using the strap sign. So as I say, you've got freedom right there. You've got two compression straps on the side as well. So once your bag's actually filled in, pull in those straps and hey presto, that's just gonna hold everything together inwards. And then just for another strap wise, you've got another additional top strap here as well for any of additional features. But that's to help attach the actual foot part or the binding part to the bag itself or any other bits and bobs. As I say, with the strap systems themselves, you, you know, you can pretty much just play around with it and get it to fit and to suit your, all your needs. Anyway, so that's the straps. Let's just unclip these and let's take a look at the pockets now. So the front pocket you've got on, on here, Nice and spacious, yet again, it's based on your very traditional organised pocket on there. So obviously you've got your pockets at the front there for your pens, bits and bobs, you know, you could put your wallet in there, maybe some spare batteries. And then other than that, it is pretty much one big open space. Now, depending on obviously what you fill the main compartment with, will also determine the actual volume and space that you have in this front pocket as well, just to make you aware. You've got a goggle pocket on the top there. And again, it's nice and padded on the front and on the back, and it does have a uh, like a fleece lining to it as well, so it's not going to damage your lens or whatever. So you can pop it in there, and then hey, presto. The size of that as well, you know, you can pretty much put any standard uh, goggle in there. So let's take a look at the main compartment itself. What you'll notice, it's pretty much just a standard system, so it is pretty much just one big open space. You do have a bladder com uh, comp or compulsion on the back there, so obviously if you get the decline back, uh, the bladder, either a two litre or a three litre, you could sign, uh, pop it in there, comes out the top here, and then, hey presto, you can just attach it onto the chest strap there, and then you've got yourself, you know, your water for, the, for your trip, whether you're gonna be backpacking or, you know, just hitting the slopes, um, you know, freely. Anyway, let's take a closer look at the back. So if we just unclip that, the back itself has got your traditional strapping. Obviously, that's the top part strap for the for the actual front part of the rucksack. Oh no, actually, that, yep, just to clip on there. As I say, which you can also double up as well as a compression strap as well. And as I say, that's just there to hold your snowboard in place. You've got your back padding on there. Um, it's got nice soft back padding there, so it's going to be nice and you know comfortable on your back, even if you are carrying your snowboard. And then on the bottom there, you've just got the extra padding around for your lower back as well. The straps themselves have got really nice padding all the way through. They basically are what I like to call is reactor padding. So the actual strap itself will react to your shape of your body. So it's not going to stand out awkwardly. You're not going to have any back gaps on the back there. It is going to mould nicely to you know the top part of your shoulders. You also have a good old traditional chest strap, which you can just clip in. Hey presto, you've got your safety whistle on there, and then you can adjust it accordingly as well. You've also got this a little bit of elastication as well, so you can't do the actual chest strap up too tight. And then finally, you've just got your traditional standard hip strap as well. Yet again, the actual straps themselves, very much like the straps on the shoulders, are gonna react nicely to your hip shape. And as I say, so it's gonna take you know the shape of you and then you've got your traditional clips which you can pull in and out as well. Anyway, if you'd like any more information on this rucksack, please visit our website, simplypieced.com.